What's up, Block Fam? In the shop today, working on the Raptor. Shop's coming along. You guys will be seeing update videos and all that good stuff. Hopefully, we've got you guys up to speed. But uh, yeah, today's video, working on the Raptor. We got a couple things set up here. This is going to be one of the bigger ones that I'm really looking forward to. We've got a uh, Amp Research Bed Extender HD Max. Bed Extender is basically the thing that like flips out here. I guess we could just show you a picture right there. That's what a bed extender is. So it gives you extra length on the bed. That's like just for when we're hauling bikes and stuff in the back of this thing that it uh, has a little bit more security. Also got like this OCD metal console organizer thing. We've got a shorter antenna that replaces a big old long antenna. And we've got this little extra storage thing, which funny, looks like little and nothing huge, but it's actually pretty cool. It's one of these things that they did in this uh, truck, which I didn't really understand. Yeah, just this little cubby for, you know, being able to store stuff. So usually I just throw some stickers, charger, whatever in there. But on the left side, they don't. Like, there's just nothing there. But there is a space, like, that they totally could have put one there. But they didn't. So I was on Amazon, and I found this one. So it fits perfectly right there. Just some double-sided tape. Make sure send you a little extra. You peel that off. Stick it there. That's it. So yeah, this episode, we're just doing a couple things to the Raptor. If you guys are interested in any of this stuff, check out the links down in the description below. And you can order any of it if you guys are fellow Raptor owners. All right, let's get to it. All right guys, so we got the easy stuff installed. We've got that little thing on the left side of the center console. We've got the antenna done and the center console organizer. All little small things, but overall ends up making pretty significant difference. So that center console organizer, I had one on the Tacoma and I really loved it. I also had one of these on the Tacoma. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with the install of this. Let's go ahead and unbox. There we go, guys, everything unboxed. So you've got the outer edges. So basically the parts that come here and here, you've got the center parts that you fit into the ends of those. And then you've got the clamps that basically go around those and they clamp down hardware here destructions here and then i bought this little extra piece which is the bed extender uh, mounting kit so this is a no drill kit you don't have to buy this part in order to install you can basically take these and then you take these brackets and you will have to drill into the uh the actual bed of the truck i didn't necessarily want to do that i did that on the tacoma and it was no big deal but uh it wasn't that much more expensive for the no drill kit so Let's go with that. Let's uh, go ahead and get to installing this thing. All right, guys, so I've got all the hardware laid out. Also heads up on the box, uh, well, inside the box on this piece here, there's this seven inch measuring tool. On this bracketry, you've got right, left, and you're gonna assemble the no-drill bracket uh, with the mounting bracket. So these are the mounting brackets. Three holes here, three holes there. Those are gonna line up just like that. So for the one on the right, which goes here, you're gonna want the bracketry that has that correct orientation like this. So this is gonna go on the right. Now, whenever you install the bed extender, you're gonna be able to take it at a 45 degree angle and it'll basically slide in and out of the bracket here so that you can remove it if needed uh, on these pieces. So basically that piece goes onto there and you're able to press in and out. All right, there we go guys, all assembled and just tighten that down. The next part, you're gonna basically be mounting into these holes here. In order to do that, you're gonna get this, what they call the hold bracket, hold down bracket. You're gonna take one of the nuts and it fits nicely into there like that. And you're gonna take one of these larger bolts that they have and put one of these tooth washer on it like that. And then you're gonna run it through the bracket. You want this to be facing towards the bracket like that. So those little feet part that come off right there, parts that are sticking up, you want those to be facing this bracket. Cause what's gonna happen is you're gonna drop these inside of this part and then it's gonna pull back. And whenever it pulls back, it's gonna grab into and tighten against this part of the truck or this part of the bed. All right, 
bracketry installed. Now to get to assembling this whole thing. All right, so we've got this together for the most part. Next up, we're gonna want to uh, place the clamps on there. Now, if you guys notice in the clamps, there's one side that is larger with those rivets and there's one side that's smaller. So the larger one is gonna go on this side and the smaller part is gonna go on this side. So oh, also whenever you're taking these apart, be careful not to lose these little bump stop things. All right, so the one, one, two, three, these are larger, they stick out a little more as you can see and then these are smaller so the smaller side so like like so so you're gonna want to basically like put those together clamp it up and then use the screws here run them through and they will basically screw in to the plastic there we go guys so you see the larger smaller bunch this up all like that same with this side take those make sure the bump stops are in so basically we'll clamp down Oh, damn it. This one on backwards. <laughs> Make sure the uh, the holes are facing in. Now, we do have these screws left over because they were part of these mounting brackets. They were the tapping screws that went into the bed, but we did the uh, no drill option. So you're not going to want to tighten these down all the way. Just loosely get them in, and then we're going to adjust the width of the entire thing. So, uh, yeah, get a Torx and start to snug them down. All right, so I have placed them into the bracketry. Uh, like I said, you angle it up, kind of 45 degree angle, and then you drop it into there, and it pretty much sets. So this isn't tight, as you can see, but at this point, this is where we want to adjust the width. So you're just gonna, after you set them in there, it's pretty much gonna like auto set the width, because you can kind of push and pull it from here, but you want these right up against the edges, and then obviously you want your logo centered. All right, after you got that all centered up, go ahead and tighten all of these down. All right, guys, we have them all tightened down. Good to go. Gaps are closed here all around. So I tightened basically the ends and then the middles and then the outside. So basically like clamped from the outside in, I should be good to go. So you should have a couple extra pieces of hardware here. And what these are, these are for putting into the latch of the tailgate now it does already have some on them so whenever you have this mounted so whenever you've got it mounted like that you can basically bring these over and you can put these into these latches and it will just clip down and you can tighten those as necessary and what that does is it's just an extra thing to secure down the extender. So like whenever you're driving, it won't bounce up and down like crazy. Cause if you do hit bumps, this is going to bounce. So you basically tighten that down, adjust here and uh, it'll you know, hold it down and it won't allow it to bounce as much. And then to get that out, you're going to want to pull the tailgate latch. So pull here and that pops right out. And if you want to put the tailgate in or up, basically throw that forward and put the dough, get up, and you're good to go. Good clearance here, that's awesome. With adding the no drill bracketry, you don't have to worry about like how far back or use a template or anything. Yeah, super easy, incredibly convenient to have because you're essentially getting much more bed space like that. So if you wanna basically pack this full of boxes or plywood or whatever you're thinking. Um, also, it's incredibly useful when you do have it like this. Oh, also the reason the bump stops being there is important because whenever you drop it, but another incredibly useful thing is this compartment that it makes. So if you're wanting to throw something in the back of the truck, you don't want to move it around so much. You can throw it back here. A lot of times I'll use bungees kind of around and like all section off whatever I have. So that it's bungeed to one side so that it's not moving all over the place. So incredibly useful, would highly recommend. Had it on my Tacoma for a couple years and I was driving this truck around without one and I was like, you know what? I gotta get another just cause it's so useful. Anyways, that's the video guys. If you guys are interested in any of the products, be sure to check out the links down in the description below. Hope this was insightful. If you guys are considering doing a bed extender to your truck, they do make them for all sorts of trucks. Like I said, I had one for the Tacoma. This is the install on an F-150 or the Raptor. If you've got a truck out there, chances are Amp Research makes one for you. A couple other companies that do make it besides Amp Research, 
a couple other knockoffs. I don't have any experience with them, but I went with Amp Research just for the fact that I had one on my Tacoma and I beat the hell out of it and it just didn't mess up. It was always like super reliable, didn't rust out, obviously uh, aluminum and plastic. Um, the fittings were always great. I had zero issues with it. And like I said, I, I really beat the hell out of it. So I'm sticking with the brand. There it is, guys. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor, hit the like button. Let's YouTube know that we're doing a good job here at the Blockhead channel. If you guys aren't subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon also so it sends you notifications if you drop loads and activity. Until next time, ride safe out there, wrench safe, stay vigilant. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.